Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing a tutorial on how to draw a tree, or rather a tree trunk, because I have already covered leaves and foliage in a different tutorial, but I will also complete this painting to show you what you can make out of it. So I've had a few questions regarding the size of paper I'm using, or the size of canvas on my Procreate app. Uh, essentially, I'm always using an A4 size because I kind of print A4 sizes and A5, A6, A3 so I can easily convert that into a larger or a smaller A size. So A4 is what I usually use and you can use that standard canvas option in Procreate already. When you click create canvas there should be an option in the list. So for this tutorial I'm starting with a sketch. I'm using a 6B pencil and I'm just roughly sketching out the shape of the tree I want to create and I started off with quite the rigid shape of tree and you'll see I'm going to adjust that a little bit more and give it a bit more character and personality by making it a bit more windy. Once I have a rough sketch out I create a second layer and essentially draw over the other one or underneath the, the first one and create a better sketch. I'm using the Procreate Studio pen for this and I just generally speaking use a black color but before I want to go into the next sketch I'm going to create a little palette of colors because I will be starting to sketch out this next one in the mid dark color for this one so it's easier to add darker colors and lighter colors. I will have to speed parts up just because the tutorial right now is 30 minutes long and I would rather have a 10 minute tutorial so please bear with me. So I'm right now getting ahead into the second sketch that I would put over it and essentially this is where I want to block out the entire shape of the tree and while I'm doing that I will see how it looks like when it is fully colored which always changes things for me from sketch to colored version. So as you can see now I will be starting to add a bit more character to the shape of the tree itself. If you are familiar with my tutorials then you'll know I rarely stick to just the colors I pick out but they are helpful to be used as in a rough guide and I'm also choosing some green colors for the painting and I want to see which ones match with the brown colors I've chosen for the tree trunk. Looking at tree references on Pinterest or Google does really help so I encourage you to do that if you want to learn how to draw trees just because you'll notice that they aren't rigid in in their shape at all so it would be good to add like little squiggly lines and stuff for the branches and generally the tree trunk outline that is why i also decided not to do a straight line for the tree trunk earlier and just kind of put little dense and squiggly lines in especially when it comes to branches which are heavy with leaves or roots that are kind of trying to get into the earth or stones depending on where your tree is sitting um more curves and dents will kind of definitely give it more personality so i always think that is a nice idea especially when you want to do an enchanted tree like i usually try and do because of my more fantastical nature of paintings okay so i filled in all the lines where they had some breaks in them and holes so i could color fill them with the bucket tool that's when you drag down the little circle on the top right and then fill in your shape. But obviously it didn't quite work in some areas, so now I'm filling out the rest after I fixed that and you'll notice immediately it looks a lot better. Don't worry about getting any perfect lines down at the beginning because you can adjust that when you are closer to the end. Um, for texture and for shape of this tree, in general like shadow and light um, blocking I usually put a sketch over on a separate layer so I can take that layer away again without ruining my picture and I start to sketch in like the general texture of the tree and after that all the shading etc. This is where you three-dimensionalize your shape that you put down and that is where intentionality is super important so the shape that you put down I knew that that bump at the bottom before it gets to the roots I knew that was going to be the top part of the root sticking out so obviously the light will fall onto that because it is a lot further in front than like the rest of the tree in the back so i'm kind of trying to draw like topographical lines where i want to show you that there is like a bump going up it's like little circles around each other 
like you can see on maps sometimes and essentially that is where some of them like at the top that topographical circle thingy is more for the texture but the bottom one is to show that there's light and to enhance that i've kind of taken yellow for light and an orange color for secondary light and then i kind of tried to show you where it falls on this one i find it really helpful to do that because for me it helps to visualize what my final tree would look like i need to know where the light falls in order to start shading etc and i've chosen a mid-tone for the general tree so that now you can go in with a lighter color and do all the highlights of the tree for the tree bark and then also um, a darker color and preferably a more grayer color to look bluish for the shade and then go in and kind of do that. Choosing a more orange and vibrant lighter color, I'm going to go in and start putting in some highlights using the map that I did to kind of help me remember where all the light falls. And I want to use this one in particular for the highlights now, but I'll also start putting in texture as in the pattern of the tree bark. As you can see, I still have the texture layer where I have my dark sketch on it. I've lowered the opacity of that and I still have that showing so that I can orientate myself with the lines I drew before. Now getting a darker shade that looks a bit more bluish because it is more gray, I'm going to go in and do the darker patterns and put in the shade. Unfortunately, I must have cut it out because in the second I will be blending a lot of the lines together with uh, the stucco brush in Procreate, that one that was showing just before, and now I want to bring out the lines again so that there is a definition to the tree. I'm just trying to faffle about and find the right brush, and I'm going to switch again choosing the 6B pencil because it just has a nice rough texture. Now I'm essentially rendering all the different lines of the tree bark texture out so that they look a bit more defined and after I've done that I will add another high highlight color and a blending mode which I will explain in a second to make the highlights and the, the sun parts stick out. When it comes to colors I find it easiest to just color pick the color you've been painting with and then when you want to go a bit darker choosing slightly pulling it down a little bit on the cursor or up a bit for lighter colors and more vibrant so not to just completely pick a different color but just kind of pick a color that is very similar but a bit darker or a bit lighter and that kind of gives it a natural flow between light and dark Another thing to note is when I pick the darker colors for this, unless it is a completely shady part of the tree, I usually go into the red tones because I want to still have a lot of warmth in the color of the tree bark, especially when it gets darker. The lighter ones, as you can see, are more orange with my lighter tones and the darkish, the darkest parts are gray orange. So it's kind of very helpful to remember that you want to choose different colors of the color wheel like ranges to give it a bit more life instead of just sticking to completely orange or red okay so i'm nearly done with the rendering i'm quite happy with the texture so far now i'm going to add some light using the blending mo mode overlay if you want me to explain that i'll make another video on that because it's quite long i think this one already just comment below and i'll make another video on it and essentially with that, you just create a new layer on top of this, choose clipping mask because you want to add the light to the tree, not to the surroundings, and then choosing a textured one like the crayon or the soft pastel brush or crayon thingy, then you can add light onto the tree parts where you want to have your light. And I'm choosing an orange one to mimic the sunlight and the warmth and just going over the parts where I wanted the sunlight to reflect off the most. Thank you. 
really important to note is that you don't want to put it over everything because you don't want it to blend together unless it's in full sunlight but you still want to have a little bit of a like an illusion of depth in this tree trunk so you can see the light parts are sticking out a lot more than the dark parts and i'm adding another highlight with a 6b pencil in procreate another like lighter color to emphasize that this part is out there and it's catching some sunlight Now that I've added light, I'm going to add some more shade, especially to the branch, just to make sure they are not looking 2D. For this, I'm still using the 6B pencil, and I'm also going to continue to draw some extra branches to give it some more life. Okay, so we're nearly at the end. After I've shaded this part, that is me done. And I hope that you guys have learned something in this and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I know I had to speed it up a lot because of the time, because I know that YouTube doesn't show my video so much if I keep it too long. So I hope this was okay. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer them. And yeah tag, tag me on instagram if you would like me to share your artwork on my story and if you have any feedback for me as i do my tutorials in my narration and in my explanation please tell me as well if you want me to do something better or leave something out or add something and i will do it i did create a whole painting out of this but as this is quite long already i've uploaded it as a separate video which you'll find on my page and more tutorials on landscape elements on my page as well. So do check those out if you are just learning how to do landscapes and if you're interested on tips and tricks from me. But that's it for now and I'm looking forward to doing it again next week. See you soon.